Morning. We're starting off watching our invest the system down here. Tropical wave in the central to east central Gulf of Mexico. Uh, not really organized at all. You can see here most of the cloud cover rainy off to the east of it now. And as it continues on its track here across the Gulf, it's going to be battling some wind shear courtesy of an upper level low. Also kind of spinning just off to the south of that as that continues to move on in. It's not going to be a perfect environment for development, but there's still a chance we could try to see this trying to do something. But what it's going to do is basically track here to the west Northwest, anywhere from about Houston down to Brownsville, somewhere to Texas where it's going to move. Regardless of development, though, it's going to spread some deep tropical moisture over our area. So we do have the chance of development roughly about 40% over the next couple of days here as it moves just south of Louisiana. So with it being that close and that much moisture tied in with it, it's going to help to bring us that heavy rain threat. Right now where it's located, you can see a buoy not too far behind it. Winds are at 25, sustained winds of 18, so winds not too strong there. Add ahead of it more northeasterly winds at 11 gusting to 16. So the winds are not very strong. It's not very organized, but there's a lot of that tropical moisture here that's going to spread its way across our areas. We go throughout Thursday, kind of linger into Friday as well, too, and even on into Saturday. So with that much moisture in place, any rain that does fall is expected to be quite heavy. So as we go forward here throughout the day today and into tomorrow morning, there's what likely will be the center of it, but still not too organized. But it starts setting bands of rain over the areas we head into Thursday during the day into the afternoon hours scatter, but it'll continue all day into Thursday night, even on into Friday morning. Still some pretty good rain, especially down along the coastline as the center moves closer into Texas and then spreading more of that rain across our area throughout Friday afternoon, heading into Friday night and Saturday. Still looking at some wet weather out there as well. And even though the system would likely be moving towards, say, Corpus Christi, it's still going to have that onshore flow. So we are going to be dealing with not only heavier rain, but maybe some coastal flooding concerns and need to watch out for some water spouts and also a few tornadoes.